Lion dance, a ceremonial art form believed to bring good fortune. It's a common spectacle in Chinatowns around the world. The tradition originated in China around 2,000 years ago. But today, one man is seeking to usher in a new age. Master Xiao and his disciples from Malaysia are the undisputed leaders in the arena of competitive lion dancing. This is high stakes acrobatics at its most spectacular. But as the country hosts the world championships, can the Malaysians defend their reputation as kings of the sport? Kuala Lumpur, cosmopolitan capital of Malaysia, and home to a sizable Chinese community. Temples are filled with devotees praying for health, luck and prosperity on this auspicious day. It's the last day of the Lunar New Year, Chap Go Mei. Hello. Hey. Hey, we got look at Master Xiao Fei Hong is a familiar figure in the Malaysian Chinese community. Many are here today to watch him at work because he is one of the world's most renowned lion dance masters and coaches some of the best teams in the world. Master Xiao's trademark perfectionism and passion for lion dance has led his disciples from around the world to great heights. Local troupe Kun Seng Keng, or KSK, are his most accomplished students. Over the last 15 years, KSK have won numerous international trophies for competitive lion dancing. They never fail to draw a crowd, but with the world championships looming, even festive displays are rehearsals for the defense of their title. Master Xiao makes more than just champions. His lion head business produces up to 500 heads a year. Competition season is an especially busy time, as each handcrafted head takes seven days to complete. Today, his lion heads are in demand and are sold to customers as far as Western Europe. Over the last two decades, Master Xiao has devised his own methods for making competition lion heads. Today, He's here to put the finishing touches on a custom design. Many teams like KSK hope that Master Xiao's lion heads will give them a competitive edge during competition.
The arrival of the new Lionhead offers brief respite from KSK's training. But soon, the boys are back to business. With the competition just weeks away, Master Xiao has little time to help them master their complex routines. But KSK is still far from championship winning form. KSK have to intensify their training. But Master Xiao will soon have other commitments. So he must leave the boys in the capable hands of their longtime manager, Tan Chong Hin. To the 50 years of nationhood World Lion Dance Invitation, we're here gathered this afternoon for the drawing of lots to decide which teams are going into round one and which teams are going into round two. A record 27 teams from 12 countries are competing in the 2007 Gunting World Championship. All eyes will be on KSK from Malaysia, current holders of what's considered the most prestigious trophy in competitive lion dance. Let's welcome also Master Xiao Fei Hong, who is going to be the chief judge. As chief judge and planning director, it will be Master Xiao's job to ensure a successful competition. With national pride at stake, Team KSK practice well into the night. In high poles lion dancing, contestants have to leap across platforms as high as three meters. Even the slightest slip could be costly. But for the boys and their manager, perfecting their routine in time for the competition is all they have time to sweat about. Genting Highlands, one of Malaysia's most popular entertainment destinations, is gearing up for a unique sporting event, the 2007 World Lion Dance Championship. <laughs> Yesterday,开始裁判领队会议的目标是让大家理解我们的最大的目标就是要把整个赛会做到最好，也让参赛者或者是观众了解到我们这些比赛是完全透明化的。while Master Xiao busies himself with the logistics of the competition, Malaysia's great hope, Team KSK, is still working some of the kinks out of their routine. From KSK headquarters in the southern state of Johor, Tan Chong Hin watches over the boys, scheduling performances, supervising their training, helping groom them into champions. Like the KSK teams that came before them, this year's members demonstrate an unwavering dedication to every aspect of the sport. This has made them one of the most celebrated line dance teams in the world.
KSK's winning form over the years has much to do with mentorship from former members. 11-time world champion Hui Sun is a lion dance legend. He still returns to share his expertise with the boys. In competition, lion dancers aren't simply judged on acrobatics. They must also manipulate the lion head and body to convey emotions. Ultimately, what sets teams apart is the creativity and difficulty of their routines. And this is where KSK excels. This move involves performing successive 180 degree turns, a high risk maneuver since the tail performer cannot see the platforms behind him. There are still long hours of practice ahead before the move can be perfectly executed. But KSK's manager, Tan Chung Hin, believes this difficult stunt will give them the edge. <laughs> Even as KSK make their final preparations, their mentor, Master Xiao, finds time to work with other young lion dancers. As a dedicated ambassador of lion dance, he works tirelessly to pass on his knowledge of this ancient art in the hopes that even more champions will emerge in the future. Malaysia's Genting Highlands, a tourist hotspot known for its adrenaline-pumping rides. But today, it will be the venue for a different kind of thrill. One of the world's most respected lion dance experts, Master Xiao Fei Hong, has been invited to preside over this prestigious event. As chief judge of the 2007 World Lion Dance Championship, he cannot influence the scoring, but will oversee the proceedings and ensure everything is run above board. At the KSK Team Hotel, the boys are packing their gear in preparation for the final showdown. As former champions, they've been here before, but that doesn't lessen the anxiety when so much is at stake. As the all-important head and tail performers, Kok Fu and Yong feel the most pressure. Months of training all come down to this day's proceedings. While the judges get things underway, Team KSK take a moment for a little pre-competition ritual. Lion dancers are believed to bestow good luck. But on an occasion such as this, even a lion will seek blessings and some divine assistance.
Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hand together to welcome all the fantastic team. The competition has attracted 27 teams from 12 countries, including host nation Malaysia, the United States, Australia, Brunei, China, and Indonesia. It's an unprecedented number and a testament to the sport's growing popularity. Many lion dancers here look to Master Xiao as their inspiration and mentor. But as chief judge, his role now is to ensure all the scoring judges can perform their tasks smoothly. The battle is finally underway. Performers leap across poles as high as three meters, twisting and turning with spectacular agility. Each lion attempts bolder and more inventive ways to impress the judges and thrill the crowds. Current world champions KSK have their eyes squared firmly on the competition. The team from the southern Malaysian town of Sagamat is a real crowd pleaser. Rivals KSK are given more reason to worry with each deftly executed maneuver. And even though they are KSK's Malaysian compatriots, there is no love loss when it comes to championship trophies. Master Xiao tallies the judges' scores. Sagama has earned itself an impressive result. KSK know they must execute a perfect routine if they hope to be crowned kings of the lion dance again. As the competition reaches its climax, Chief Judge Master Xiao is pleased with the progress the teams have made in the last year. He's confident this will help the sport grow in popularity. But higher standards push teams to attempt more and more difficult routines. And while these gravity-defying feats of acrobatics wow spectators and judges alike, they are not without risk. Fractured bones, broken jaws and cracked ribs are not uncommon in high poles competitive lion dancing. Current world champions KSK from Malaysia will have to push aside any negative thoughts as they wait their turn on the high poles. Yong, the man under the lion's head, tries to calm his nerves. The judges conduct a final inspection, making sure everything is in order. Now, the moment of truth is upon them. KSK is a crowd favorite, and expectations are high. The boys are off to a flying start. They attempt their new signature move, leaping, then twisting backwards to form a triple figure eight. Their execution is flawless, and the crowd laps it up. As their routine progresses, KSK grow in confidence. They raise their performance to a new high.
KSK's coaching staff and the audience could ask for nothing more from that performance. The arena falls silent as the judges score KSK's performance. Chief Judge Master Xiao confirms what the audience is anticipating. Malaysia's Kun Seng Keng are champions once again. And perhaps there's been no better ambassador for Lion Dance than Master Xiao Fei Hong, the man they call the Lion Dance King. He's groomed world champions and helped transform the art into an international sport. But for Master Xiao, there's more to Lion Dance than mere accolades.